machines Big and mighty machines Working for you, doing mighty things there Mighty machines Lifting and pulling and flying so high Building and building up to the sky You can watch them all day and never know why they're Mighty machines Hear them roar, watch them soar Sit right down and see There are stories to enjoy For every girl and boy Mighty machines Big and mighty machines Working for you, doing mighty things there Mighty machines Working for you, doing mighty things there Mighty machines Control Tower to Jet Girl. You are clear for landing on runway two. Over. Roger Tower. Ah, touchdown. Another happy landing. Hey, Jet Girl. Is that you? I haven't seen you around here for a long time. Hi, Stripes. It's great to see you, too. Hey, everybody. Jet Girl is here for a visit. Nice to have you back. Well, hello there, Jet Girl. Hi, gang. Such a warm welcome. It's nice to be home. Even though I fly all over, this airport will always feel like home. Do you know why? Because I was assembled right over there in that factory. Every time I land here, I remember those days. It's such an interesting place. While I'm getting my passengers, I'll tell you the story of how I became a jet. Of course, I was a lot smaller then. An airplane like me is built of all sorts of different parts that are made either here, in the factory, or in other plants. We go together something like a jigsaw puzzle. These are some of the parts that go on the front section of a plane where the pilots sit. And that's me when I was only a cockpit. My friends and I are all getting built together. We're all going to be Challenger Jets. That's right. Here comes one of my windows. I'll tell you something about airplane windows. They're made of plexiglass and they're super strong because they're really thick, much stronger than glass. Fit it in there, fellas. Perfect. Slide it over. All the holes have to line up for the screws. That little tool holds it in place just right. Hey, man, look at me. I already got all my windows. See that thing that he's turning? That's called a yoke. It has to be able to turn and pull back and forth because that's what steers the plane. They're testing to see if it works properly. But how come there are two of them? Well, a plane has a pilot and a co-pilot. Both of them can fly and steer the plane. I'm getting anxious. I need a body. Well, that's the next step. Wow, that was pretty fast. Now I've got a body. A fuselage. That's what they call the body of an airplane. The cockpit gets attached onto the fuselage. What are those guys doing? Oh, they're riveting you together. See how thin the skin of the fuselage is? It's made of aluminum sheet metal. Why do they use aluminum? Aluminum is strong, but it's still very light. The lighter the airplane, the less fuel it uses. That makes sense. Good idea. <clears throat> Don't look now, but you're about to get longer. What? Oh, look at that! They're sliding two sections of my fuselage together. C 
See how perfectly it fits? Sweet! Now that all the sections are lined up, they get riveted together. A rivet is sort of like a nail, but a rivet is flat on both sides. It holds pieces of metal together. The rivet gun mashes down the head of the rivet and flattens it out so it holds securely and is completely smooth. My skin has to be smooth so that when I'm in the sky, the air will flow over me as slick as ice. See that syringe in his hand? He's squirting sealing compound into each hole before the rivet goes in. The whole plane has to be absolutely airtight, even the rivet holes. There are my wings! Where would an airplane be without wings? On the ground, that's where. The wings need to have all sorts of special things installed, like electrical wires and hydraulics that can work the flaps. Even some of my fuel tanks are in the wings. Hooray! My wings are all done now. The flaps are in place. Everything is set. I'm going to get my wings. Hi there, kids. I'm away up here near the ceiling. I'm Crane, and I'm rolling along on my rail. I can reach everywhere in this plant, and I can pick up anything. Right now, I'm about to give Jet Girl her wings. First, I've got to get the lifting ring. Here it is. That's right, guys. Put my hook through the ring. Up we go. Funny looking rig, isn't it? But it will work perfectly, I guarantee. Down it comes. All the wings are built with brackets for attaching the rig. Slide the bolt in place. Then the other one. I lift it at four different places to spread the strain on the wing assembly. Those are my cables. That's what does the actual lifting. Everyone off the wings. Good. Here we go. Up slowly. The lifting rig is fully adjustable, so the wing is balanced when I pick it up. See? Evenly balanced. The wings are nice and level because the rig is attached in the right spots. I can feel the weight now, but hey, no problem. The wings are flying. <laughs> Away we go to another part of the plant. Now down it comes. See the pattern of the wings painted on the floor? I'm setting it down right there. Now detach the lifting rig, but hang on, I'm not finished yet. I'll be right back. I'm taking this rig back, and I'll get a different one for the next step. Sure is a lot of activity around here today. What next? Okay, here I am with the jumbo lifting rig. I'm going to let it down right over Jet Girl's fuselage. Are you coming to get me? Don't you want to come for a ride? Wait a second. Are you really going to pick me up with that thing? I sure am. But, but, but... There. That's not so bad, is it? It's a little scary up here. It's so high. Don't worry. My operator has you completely under control. He'll just shift you over gently. Hey, I can see lots of things from up here. Wow, this is a big place. Look at all the planes. And then he'll lower you down. There are your wings. Great, set me down. Take it easy, Jet Girl. This operation doesn't happen fast. 
What's taking them so long? I have to lower you down really slowly because you and the wings have to fit together exactly. Oh, I see. There's a very narrow gap between my fuselage and the wings. It's a snug fit. That's right. And that means it takes tiny, careful movements on my part to do it properly. My operator needs only a light as a feather touch on my controls. Would you expect a crane as big as me to be so delicate? Really? I'm impressed. There, you're down and it's a flawless fit. Now they can bolt you together. Well, gosh, now I've got a pair of wings. Maybe I can fly. Not so fast. Wouldn't you like some engines to go with those wings? Oh, yes, please. I'll take two. My, my, look at all the wires and stuff inside. They certainly are beautiful and powerful. They don't make the engines here, but the technicians inspect everything and give them a little polish, too. Everything has to be sparkling clean. Now that my fuselage and wings are all securely attached, they can roll me to the spot where I'll get my engines tomorrow. Oh boy, I can hardly wait. Right here should be fine. Just line up with the marks on the floor. Thank you. Hooray! Here comes the first of my powerful jet engines. They put that red cover on so nothing can get into the engine while they're working. What's so neat about a jet engine is that inside are lots of little fan blades that whiz around really fast. Air is sucked into the engine by the fans, mixed with jet fuel, ignited, and then it shoots out the back. Whoosh! That's what propels a jet plane like me across the sky. Oh, hi, Crane! Are you lifting my engine too? Of course, Jet Girl. This is another delicate operation that takes precise control. That's my specialty. And I do it all by remote control. Down we go. Easy, easy. This is the delicate part. How are you doing, Crane? Nearly there, Jet Girl. It takes a lot of skill to do this job. The mounting brackets on the engine have to fit into the supports on the side of your fuselage. The lifting rig has a block and tackle on it, so they can tilt the engine just the right amount to line up. The alignment must be perfect, so the bolts fit the holes in the brackets exactly. Little more. More? Does it fit? Stop fretting, Jet Girl. Of course it fits. Just a little tap. That's it. We've done it. Perfect job. Thanks a lot, Crane. You're welcome. Now I'm really starting to look like an airplane. I've got a cockpit and a fuselage and wings and engines. The fuel tanks are in the wings, the fuselage, and the tail. I'm looking pretty good. Now what? They're opening the big hangar doors. Wow! They're so huge, they need a motor to open them. I guess they have to be big, otherwise my wings couldn't get out. blue thing on my front wheels. They need to tow you to another part of the factory, Jet Girl. You still need to have a lot of work done before you're able to fly. By tomorrow, you'll almost be ready for your test flight. Isn't that exciting? 
I really want to get up into the sky and see what it's like to soar higher than the birds, away above the clouds. I want to be able to touch the sky! Thanks for everything, Crane. Happy landings, Jet Girl! Well, this is a different part of the factory. What do they do in here? It's crowded. Ah, I see. They're installing all of the electric wiring and heating and everything else that they need to operate me. There are mechanical controls, wires and conduits everywhere. Once I get up into the sky, it won't be like it is on the ground. Air has to be pumped in so the passengers can breathe. My cabin has to be heated and I'll need lights. Look at all the strands of electrical wire that have to be put into me. Each wire does a different job. Oh joy! Now it's time to test my flight controls. Come and see! Those switches turn on my instrument panel. The pilot can find out what's happening in every part of the plane by reading the information on those monitors. I sure hope I don't fail any of the tests. First, let's check out the flaps on my wings. When the flaps are extended, the wings create more lift at lower speeds. That's useful for takeoff and landing. At cruising speed, they'll pull the flaps in again. So far, so good. When the yoke is pulled back or pushed forward, the elevators on the tail go up or down. That changes the plane's pitch by making the nose come up or go down. Next, it's the ailerons. By turning the yoke like a wheel, the pilot can roll the plane to make turns. Ailerons go up, ailerons go down. Ailerons go up, ailerons go down. See him pushing the pedals on the floor? That works the rudder on the tail and keeps the airplane stable while it makes a turn. These things are my spoilers. They spoil the airflow over the wings and help me descend for landing. What a cool noise they make. Okay, next test, the landing gear. Great, they fold it up perfectly. The wheels on big planes like me fold up into the body. I need them to take off and land, but when I'm flying, they slow me down and make it harder to fly. Of course, when the wheels come down, they have to lock in place and be secure so that they can take the weight of the plane when it hits the ground. Everything looks perfect. I've passed all the tests with flying colors. I'm ready to go out on my test flight. Say, have you ever heard about the very first test flight by a Challenger jet like me? It was a cold and sunny day. Here come my crew. They're special test pilots who are going to take me on my first flight ever. Courageous heroes, one and all. See that big number one on my fuselage? That means I'm the first Challenger 605 jet ever built. And my design is brand new. If this test goes well, there'll be lots more like me. 
Everything is inspected over and over again. The co-pilot is checking all the instruments inside, and the pilot checks everything on the outside. Landing gear looks good. That's a compartment where they carry baggage. Make sure it is closed securely. Everything checks out. My stairs are folding. All set, Captain? First, I have to taxi out to the main runway. Excellent! We have permission from the control tower to take off! At last! Engines on full! Flaps down! And lift off! I'm airborne! <laughs> This is what every airplane is built to do. I'm loving this! Hooray! All my flight tests went beautifully. a glorious day and a really happy landing too and now they can start building many more hello again I'm just back from my flight test and I've joined the line where all the interior furnishings are installed I look pretty bare right now, but soon I'll be getting some lovely paneling. Actually, here's a section being installed right now. At each station in the line, we get closer to being finished. That's going to be the galley, the kitchen area. And soon I'll get seats, carpet, and even a TV. Every galley needs a kitchen sink. So now my passengers can travel in real style. Just as soon as Tug here drops me off. Thanks, Tug. This should be fine here. Anytime, Jet Girl. I'm always glad to help. Now, I'll just lower my staircase. Leaving again so soon, Jet Girl? I'm afraid so. My passengers need to get going somewhere fast. Here they come. Everyone's aboard, Mr. Pilot. Let's head for the runway. Friends, I've got to fly. Happy landings. Bye-bye, Jet Girl. We'll miss you. 
Gosh, it sure was nice to see you all again. But I'll be back again from time to time, you know. Control Tower to Jet Girl, you are cleared for takeoff on runway two. Over. Roger, Tower. But right now, it's my favorite time. Take off! I go on another journey into the big blue skies. Bye-bye. Mighty machines. Big and mighty machines. Working for you, doing mighty things there. Mighty machines, lifting and pulling and flying so high, building them, building up to the sky. You can watch them all day and never know why they're mighty machines. Hear them roar, watch them soar, sit right down and see. There are stories to enjoy for every girl and boy. Big and mighty machines Working for you, doing mighty things there Mighty machines Working for you, doing mighty things there Mighty machines 